Hello everyone, um, hope you're well and I hope you're all safe. Um, since meeting Mark, Mike um, and Boone in April 1981, I've enjoyed quite a privileged and unique uh, relationship, not just with those four, but with probably uh, you know, a majority of the band over the last 39 years. Um, I reckon I've met Mark and Mike probably about 35 times. Um, Phil about 30, Boone about 25 and probably Leroy Williams and Pete Ray Biggin about 10 times over the last 39 years. Um, it's allowed me to accrue quite a lot of memorabilia and as I moved a wardrobe out of my study the other day I've, I've added some more stuff to my wall. For those of you that haven't seen the stuff in this corner before, um, that poster I got at um, Cliffs Pavilion 2018 these two pictures of Mike and Phil were taken by a professional photographer that I met at the uh, Brixton Academy in 1983. Uh, Mike's just put uh, all the best, Julian. Phil put thanks for all that you've done for us, um, which, you know, for a star to sort of say that back to one of his fans, um, you know, I just think that's an awesome quote. Thank you so much, Phil. Uh, this poster, you might get a reflection on it, but came from uh, Ostend in 2011. Um, obviously, the early tapes uh, record sleeve is uh, all signed by four, four of them. Yeah, all four of the original band. Um, this one's signed by Boone, Mark, and uh, Mark and Mike. This one's signed by again all four of them. Uh, this one I got in Gillingham, but it wasn't Gillingham March 81 that I've posted some of the live uh, recordings from. This was in 1982. Now I actually found a letter from another fan called Cheryl Roper the other day. Um, obviously she won't be Cheryl Roper now, but I'd be very interested to know if she that Cheryl that went to the Gillingham gig in 1982 is still a Level 42 fan, because uh, in her letter she definitely seemed a pretty big fan to me. So on to my new, st new stuff, and wait one second, because now, every single day I get to come in this room and play Where's Wally on my, in my own room, because here he is. <laughs> um, so this picture's taken at the 606 Club in Chelsea, and in the background's Keith Riley and Raymond Pursued, who I met for the first time uh, that evening. Uh, I think that's 2017. I also particularly remember meeting Keith Finan um, on this gig as well, because uh, when I sat down he just said, Oh, are you Julian that does the um, YouTube uh, clips? One of me with Pete at um, the Brentwood Festival 2017, I think. Um, this picture John Gould gave me and signed uh, in January when I was, uh, went and see him at his house. And hopefully you'll see this one because it's very dark. Um, but that's me and Mark at the Brixton Ace in 1983. Um, so I'm 19 and Mark's 24. Now, um, I've managed to accrue a quite a unique piece of memorabilia here because I went to see the Brick Funk Association at the 100 Club um, in Oxford Street and I saw this poster advertising that Atmosphere would be there on the 21st of March. When I saw Jerry Pike in December, I got him to sign it. But the thing about this poster is obviously this gig was actually cancelled because of COVID-19. So I doubt very much if A, there's many of the, you know, whether there's any other posters out there, and certainly none of them would be signed by Jerry. Uh, this one, uh, again, it's very hard to see the signatures, but Leroy's on here as well, um, is from the University of East Anglia, in, and I, that was in Norwich I went to, that one in about, I think again, the end of 1981. Um, one of the programmes signed with, by Gary. Now, Howie and the boys, you've made it on my Hall of Fame. Um, this is from the Never 42 gig uh, in Boone's memory, where we raised a thousand pounds for St Francis Hospice. And mentioning this gig, this leads me on to another fan that I've met called Francis uh, Levy. Now, uh, for any of you that were at that gig, if you didn't actually speak to Francis, you would have probably seen him at the front of the audience. Francis is quite a character. Um, he often sends me little photos that he's uh, doctored and stuck my, my uh, face on some, some pictures. Anyway, he sent me this one the other day that made me bloody piss myself. It's uh, a picture of Mark with Nick Kershaw and Francis has changed it to say, hey look Mark, isn't that Julian all over there? <laughs> Which I think was bloody fantastic. Um, now also, another fan called Mark Willis sent me um, a CD called uh, Roughs and Demos the other day and I'm going to post um, June Tune from this CD. Um, 
Uh, it's very obviously a very early copy of June Tune, but I have to say Phil Gould really, really is the star of the show on that particular clip. Um, also, I mentioned, um, I also, this is a letter from Gordon Cooper to me from 1989. Still see Gordon at the gigs nowadays. Last couple of pictures. This one I took myself at the Royal Albert Hall um, in 2004, I think it was. Um, and then I sent it to Mark and he sent it back just uh, saying thanks to, uh, to Julian, Erica, Joseph and Louis. Um, other fans during um, my posting on YouTube have sent me items. This was sent to me by Sean in um, Australia. Uh, another poster from Reading in 1982 or 83 there. Um, and um, other people, uh, Francis Dawn sent me a, um, a um, set list from Birmingham 2018. Whenever I've been doing my charity work, I think Jamie Watts sent me some uh, part time program. There's lots of other people. Yvonne sent me a t shirt from um, uh, Texas as well. Lots of other people that I've just totally enjoyed getting in contact with so many other. Um, level 42 fans um, over, the, over the world and the other day if you watched my clip of me water skiing another fan called Norman Bright of Aerial Videos Limited um, filmed me water skiing at Leon C and this is just one of the steals that came from that video and again to me you know I've got all this stuff of Level 42 that's one of my passions but this is definitely another passion of mine and I thank you so much Norman that's it for this clip. Um, stay safe. Goodbye bye everybody. Bye bye.